God is good all the time. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is voice activated. God is good. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Welcome. Welcome to friends and Ohana family to our Hope Chapel Kona Christmas service. We'd also like to welcome a special viewing for our live stream online, our family away. Amen. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening for our Christmas service at Hope Chapel Kona. You're in for a treat, family. And it's much like a wedding where there's so much uh, practice and there's so much detail that goes into everything. And then if you're not careful to step back and really be in the moment, it goes like that. And so tonight, you are going to be treated with a special um, performance. And what I love about our performance tonight is that nobody is a self-acclaimed actor that the people that you will see here tonight truly are Hope Chapel Kona's Ohana, um, who really just love the Lord. And we are so excited because one of our values is to preach the gospel in such a way through the performing arts. So tonight, you're going to be able to see the story of Jesus played in dance, and in song, and in acting, the performing arts. Amen? Don't you love how the Holy Spirit uh, uses performing arts to spread the gospel? Amen? Amen? We love it here. We love any kind of dance um, to share the message of Jesus. And you are going to be uh, given a treat. Our program is called The Glory of Christmas, Our Promise of Emmanuel. And so when you uh, entered the building here this evening, you all received a paper heart, like the one I have in my hand. And so our ask is that you prayfully consider and that you pray tonight um, to Jesus and think about that one thing that you would like to give him this Christmas. Maybe it's having the courage to shine the light of Christ in the workplace, amen? Maybe it's um, thinking outside of the box and just writing a, a note to somebody who you haven't spoken to a long time. Maybe it's the gift of restoration. Or maybe it's giving the gift of forgiveness, and forgiveness to others, but also forgiving ourselves. Whatever the Holy Spirit puts on your heart throughout tonight's performance, we ask that you write it down on this paper anonymously. Don't put your name on it. And sometime in the program towards the end, the ushers will come forth to collect it. And we're going to put it in this box, this gold box. And we're going to present it to Jesus on, the, on behalf of all of us. Does that sound okay? Amen. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's just go into prayer. Father God, we just uh, step back and all the busyness and all the hustle and bustle. Father, we acknowledge you right now. And so father, we ask that Holy Spirit just fill this place. That what we experience tonight is not just song and dance, but we encounter you. And that we would see you, that we would feel you, and that would, we would hear you tonight. We thank you for the wonderful gift of Jesus. We thank you for bringing perspective to our evening and to our hearts. We love you, Lord. Bless this time. May you be glorified in your precious and matchless name, Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. And so just one other housekeeping uh, um, announcement if you need to exit 
to go to the restroom or get water, we ask that we keep the aisles clear and that we exit to the sides because the uh, actors um, and the cast members will be utilizing this aisle. Enjoy the show. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. At this time, God sent the angel Gabriel to a city in Galilee called Nazareth to Mary, a virgin, engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, descendant of David. Hail, favored one. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom will have no end. But how could that be? I'm just a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and for that reason, the holy offspring shall be called the Son of God. Nothing will be impossible with God. Behold, bond slave of the Lord, be unto me as your word has said. Is my 
this time, Mary went with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias. When Mary greeted Elizabeth, who carried the baby one day to become John the Baptist, the baby leaped for joy in Elizabeth's womb. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Mary. Mary stayed with Elizabeth and Zacharias for three months and then returned home. Joseph, Mary's fiance, heard the news that she was to have a child. Joseph, being a righteous man, didn't want to disgrace Mary.
Joseph, being a righteous man, didn't want to disgrace Mary. He desired to put her away secretly. But as he considered this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for that which has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who will save his people from their sins. As the prophet Isaiah says in the scriptures, behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Joseph woke up. And all is calm And all is bright Everywhere And in your heart tonight The singing carols Of joy and peace But you feel too far gone Too far out Side. 
one hears the song Your broken hearts cry And help is there, just lift Your head for love has come to find you somewhere in your silent night. Love will find you. Yes, it will. Love will find you. Love will find you. How could I be so stupid? I must have hurt her when I refused to believe what she said. I didn't mean to hurt her. But then, how could anyone believe something like that? I mean, who in their right mind would believe such a thing? That's why I wasn't going to make a public fiasco out of that. Even if she'd been unfaithful. I wouldn't have wanted to see her stone. That's why I needed to put her away secretly and spare her from being publicly disgraced. Perhaps I also didn't want to be scorned by society. Yet, I still can't help but wonder what they'll say. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. I can still hear the angel's words from last night. And even now they sound unbelievable. Of course I believe, Lord. Though I am ashamed you have to send an angel to convince me. But again, I have concerns. I have questions. How will people around us react? How am I supposed to react? What does this all mean? What am I supposed to do? And she will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And what is he supposed to do? What does this all mean for him? Do I worry? Of course I shouldn't worry. The scriptures are clear. We're not to fear or worry about anything. But only fear you. Isn't a father one who cares and worries about their family and wants to protect them? But if this child is to one day grow up, to save people from their sins... Who am I to protect him? He'll be saving me. That thought alone is very humbling. All this is to happen, to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And am I? Am I a humble carpenter? Supposed to raise God's son? Our lifestyle will be pretty much one of poverty. Again, our father wants to provide only the best for his family. I suppose you know that better than I do. You being our heavenly father and me, not yet an earthly father. But what? Will I teach him how to build with his hands? The one who created the universe with just his word? I'm not worthy for this. I have nothing to offer him. I can only offer him what you provide to me. Hmm. So I know there will be love. Plenty of love. Mary will be an excellent mother. She is so kind, tender-hearted, and patient? She's been patient with me after all. After all this. 
yet how much will we go through? What's going to happen? What does this future look like? Mary will start to show soon. Will we be in danger? Phone in the ground could just swallow us up, or it could just somehow disappear for a time. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. I don't have to be afraid. Sure that you have a perfect plan. Why wouldn't you? You even laid out your plan in scriptures. There are scriptures that foretell this event. Surely there will be those who believe. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. I need to find Mary. Let her know that I believe what you've said. I need to let her know that everything will be fine. Who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She needs to know that I'll carry out her plan to be married after, after she gives birth to God's son. She needs to know that together, together we'll carry out your plan. And you'll help and guide and protect us to see us through this.
This poor couple came by looking for a room. Don't worry. Not exactly. <laughs> I told them they can stay in the in the stable, way in the back. Don't worry. They seem like a nice couple. When you say don't worry, I know I should And And, and. <laughs> God. She, she's ready to deliver. A baby? Wow, you should have told me that at first. Where are they going to sleep? Don't worry, I put some hay down on the ground. That was fresh hay, I hope. Where's the baby going to sleep? Where's the baby going to sleep? When he comes. Don't worry, I thought of that too. Oh, another good idea. I put some hay in one of the feeding troughs. Huh, that's not a bad idea. But we need to give them a blanket so they can... We're all out of blankets. Yeah, we can't take them from our guests, paying guests. Uh, oh, I know. I can give them... This ra some rags, and take them some food. And it just doesn't seem like enough. But it's all we can do. You're right. Oh, it's dark outside. Maybe we can give them this light. Lantern. <gasps> wow! Look at that star! And it's right over our stable! Oh. Wow. I told you there was something special. Straight in the 
me you smelly shepherd boys but well, we have seen him and his name is Jesus what what do you mean you were walking in the fields and you just stumbled across the Christ child we were in the fields some of us were sleeping while others were watching over the sheep when angels appeared angels appeared to you why would angels appear to some reeking animal watchers I've only heard angels appear to important people that's a part of the good news the angels came to deliver the message to us, common men. Common? Don't include me in your little group. You are the lowlifes of society. Let him finish, dear. The Christ child whose name is Jesus is Lord and Savior for all of us, even us shepherd boys. Not only are you disgusting, you're crazy. Well, I want to know. Can you tell me more? Let's start from the beginning. We were in the fields, and before the big host of angels came, there was just one angel, and I have to be honest here, we were terrified. But he told us not to be afraid, and he told us that the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem in a feeding trough in a stable. You, you mean in, in one of those caves for animals? This is all too much. Why would our Messiah be born in a barn? If he would have come, it's going to be in a palace. We saw it for ourselves. We went right away and found the baby. It was just as the angels had said. This is all just too much. Well, please, I want to get my husband and go see Jesus. Will you take us? We will. Seeing the angels was amazing, but meeting Jesus personally is life changing. Okay,
The Magi from the East arrived in Jerusalem and stopped to see King Herod. Where is he? was born king of the Jews. We saw his star in the east, and we've come here to worship him. Where is this child to be born? In Bethlehem of Judea. It was written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you shall come forth the ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So go. Find this child, and when you find him, report to me, so I may worship him. Come, let's go. The Magi continued. The Magi continued to follow the star to where the child was. So at this time, we are going to invite the ushers and greeters down the aisle with the basket uh, to collect the heart um, that you have been prayfully um, just praying for and what the gift you'd like to give Jesus. Now, if you don't have a pen, don't worry about it. 
because Jesus knows. So let's use the heart as a symbol, whether it is written, manuscripted with a pen, or just written with your heart. Now, I don't want us to rush through this moment. Maybe you're like me and you're thinking, what could I possibly give the King of Kings? So let's take a moment, his word says, to acknowledge him in all of our ways and he will make our path straight. I love that our Savior is so intimate with our every ways. He knows our laying down. He knows our rising up. He knows our every need before we even speak it. The Word of God says, is his hands too short that he cannot reach? And is his ears too deaf that he cannot hear? No judgment. That's why he came. So maybe you want to write a declaration of what you want to give Jesus. Or maybe it's simply just writing down with your heart, your mind, body, and soul what you want to give up. Whatever it may be, the ushers will come along the aisles and collect it. And we'll present it to Jesus this evening. Amen. When Christ 
Christ was born. was born, oh night, oh holy night, oh night, oh night divine, oh night divine. Sleep in heavenly 
To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Later an angel would appear in a dream to Joseph, telling him to return to Nazareth where they settled, fulfilling the prophecy which says he shall be called a Nazarene. And the child continued to grow and become strong, increasing in wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. For God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, the Lord, thy salvation, which you has prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light of revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. He laid down his life for us, Christ died.
for our sins. He was buried, and he was raised on the third day. So that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We celebrate the birth of Jesus because he came that you and I might be born again. Amen. Could we give a round of applause? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, volunteers. Thank you, Kikis. Praise the Lord. I've realized that the answer to all the hurts, the pains, the frustrations, to all the guilt, the shame, and the condemnation, to all the depression and the addiction, I've realized that there's only one remedy and one answer, and his name is Jesus. When I, I'm still growing in the Lord, but, but a few years back, I, I asked God a question, and, and I asked him this question. I said, God, why did you have to come in the form of a baby? Why? of conception I mean you're God right you could have showed up to earth at 30 33 years old right God you could do that why, why did you have to choose to come in the form of conception of a baby in a womb and I felt the Lord speak to my heart that God is just not about redeeming your life now he is about sanctifying and redeeming your entire life. That the reason why he came was to sanctify and redeem every stage of human development. I think only a few of you are getting where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go. He came to sanctify and redeem Every stage of human development. He came to sanctify and redeem the fetus. He came to sanctify and redeem the life in the womb. He came to sanctify and redeem conception. He came to sanctify and redeem birth. He came to sanctify and redeem infancy. He came to sanctify and redeem toddlers. He came to sanctify and redeem teenagers. Praise the Lord. Sanctify and redeem teenagers. Yes, he came to do that. He came to sanctify and redeem the young adults. He came to sanctify and redeem the adults. He came to sanctify every grandma and every grandpa on planet earth. He came to sanctify the young ones to the old. He came to sanctify all in all, starting from the womb. He came to sanctify all stages of human development. You know what that means? That means he came to redeem your past. He came to redeem your present. And he's here to redeem your future. Somebody give God praise. And that's why Jesus said, you must be born again. Do you know what being born again means? It means being born again. Ha! Think about that. It means being born again. Like brand new. Like tabula rasa, clean slate. No stench of sin, no filth of sin. No stain of sin, no power of sin. Like brand new. You are a brand new baby. Tell your neighbor, you are a new baby. And so Jesus said, you must be born again. There's this phrase called tabula rasa. Say tabula rasa. And tabula rasa means a clean slate. Like every sin on the chalkboard erased like starting new not even jump starting like fresh engine like new battery come on somebody help yourself on this i hope i'm not preaching to the choir he says you must be born again Do you want to be born? 
again. Like has sin just bust you up and messed you up that you're like, oh, I, I just, I, I'm done. And yet Jesus, even to now, every stage of human development, you might as well just cancel all the generational curses that's been spoken over you. You might as well just cancel all the negative things. Oh, like, oh, she's from that family. Oh, that family. No, you might as well just put an expiration date and say, today, it's a brand new start. I don't want to leave tonight without giving you the opportunity to be born again. I don't want you to go home without the opportunity to be born again. Wait, wait, what, what do you mean? I got to go back in my mom's womb. No, you don't have to go back in your mom's womb. You just receive him as your Lord and Savior. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. So if that is you today, if you want to be born again, if you want old things passed away, all things have become new. If you want the teacher to erase every yucky thing that was on your chalkboard, I say today is a new day. If that is you, if you want a brand new start, I want to be born again. Can you lift your hand? Come on, lift it, lift it, lift it. Yeah, yeah, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Come on, lift it. Lift it. Could I get just some of the lights on? I can't see. I'm blind. Lift it. Lift it. I just don't want, I want the angels of heaven to see and witness and testify. Lift it. Lift it. Praise the Lord. Lift it. Lift it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yes. So hold, hold your hand up high. Hold your hand up high. Just hold it. Just hold it there. Just hold it there. Just hold it there. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say a prayer and I just want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, December 20th, is the day I'm born again. And so I receive you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I'm saying this so that my friend can hear me. So that my family can hear me. So that the devil can hear me. I belong to Jesus. He belongs to me. It's my tabula rasa moment. I'm made new in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Could you give God glory? Would you please rise with me? Please rise with me. Praise the Lord. Please rise with me. Yes, Lord. Come on and give God glory. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I let you guys go and get your dinner and your date night on, I just wanted a, just a special thanks to this sister of mine that doesn't want to get recognized. Her name is Linda. Linda put all of this stuff together. So, hey. <laughs> uh, she's an awesome woman of God. Um, is, this, is, this, is, this, is this where the hearts came in? Is this where the hearts came in? Okay. Is this where the hearts came in? Okay. Bibbs, uh, could you do me the honor? Because you, you collected and you spearheaded this, would you mind just praying over all these prayers? Amen. 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 Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Father God, we so thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you didn't just come to this earth to forgive us of our sins. You came to this earth earth so that the you you would break the power of sin over our lives lord god and so when the enemy wants to remind us of who we were father um we can stand on the newness of christ for you say behold i make all things new and so right now in the name of jesus we believe with expectation that these gifts are given unto you lord and Father, let not the enemy remind us of where we fall because you fulfilled the promise through your son, Jesus. And 
it's not about perfection. We don't need to work towards being good, Lord. We are good because you are good. We are good because you made us good, Father. And we no longer identify with our shortcomings, but we identify in the newness of Jesus Christ. And help us to see us the way you see us, oh God. Help us to see us um, in the lenses of your son. And for those of us who have invited you into our hearts today. Oh, Lord, what a glorious day. Amen. What a glorious day that the angels in heaven rejoice and that we belong to you, oh, God, and that the crest of your righteousness is over us. And you know what that means? And we are so excited that we no longer have to do life in our power, that we do life in your power because you are a big and mighty God. And so, Father, we thank you. And so this gift that we hold in our hands, written on these hearts inside of this box, Lord, that only you can see, that no shame has any hold over it, and so, Father, thank you for receiving our gifts. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for empowering us and strengthening us to deliver this gift to you this Christmas season. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Could we give God glory? Yes. And once again... Could we take a bow on a count of three? One, two, three. Yay. Well, join us as we sing this last song before we let you go. Come on, play, play that song. Come on. Here we go. Sing. Joy. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature. Come on, clap like it is. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Say joy. Joy to the world. The Savior reigns. Come on, thank you. Let all this song implore. Rock fields and blood, rock fields and plain. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Come on, you ready? Come on. Take joy, joy, unspeakable joy, an overflowing well, no tongue can tell. Come on, hope chapel said joy, joy, unspeakable joy, rising in my soul. Let's be gold. Going up. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nation prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders, and wonders of his love. And wonders, and wonders of His love, and wonders, and wonders of His love. Come on, we cry, show, show, unspeakable joy, overflowing well, no tongue can tell. Joy rises in my soul, never lets me go. 
Let's go, Capricorno. Yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Now, somebody give God praise in this place. Amen. Somebody praise give him you, praise Lord. in this place. You Amen. are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. We give you all honor and all glory to the most high God. One more time. Can you give a round of applause to our family? Amen. Yes. Woo. Well, God bless you. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. May you enjoy this season. Don't forget this coming Thursday, our Christmas Eve service. Come join us. We'll do this again. 6 p.m. God bless you. God empower you. Tabula rasa. We'll see you guys again. Love you. Hope Chapel. Go on up.